Renew calls today for change inside New York City classrooms. Yeah, despite a new law to reduce class size, the United Federation of Teachers says more than 300,000 students are still being forced to learn in oversized classrooms. The union says average class sizes have increased even after state law passed last year, putting new limits on class size. Teachers, parents, and advocates are now calling on the city to comply with that law. Here's Iowa News reporter Lauren Glassberg. Class size reduction right now. They're chanting and counting just how many kids are in a class. And according to the teachers union, the UFT, it is too many. They have over 50% of their classes are over what is in the state law. That law calls for a cap of 20 kids in early grades, 23 and 4th through 8th, and 25 in high school. The city has some time to meet those standards, but half of the high school classes are at 34 students, and elementary school students are frequently in classes of 30. And the number of classes adhering to the state cap is going down. And when it comes to Title I schools, those with high poverty levels, the class size is meant to be a priority, and yet... Right now, there are 300, over 330,000 students, Title I students, in New York City schools who are in oversized classes. At Star Academy in the East Village, 100% of the students are in oversized classes. This mom loves the school but says everyone would benefit from smaller class sizes. I think that teachers are superheroes, so <laughs> I think supporting them and I think smaller class sizes so they can give attention to the students they want to is it's the way to go in my opinion. And that's why the teachers union and supporters are calling on the city to think of the kids. We are saying to the city of New York, stop balancing the city's budgets on the brains of our children. The Department of Education disputes the union's findings on class sizes, but everyone agrees that recent budget cuts will not help the situation. The city says it needs more money from the federal and state governments.